Tales, Gianna's here to help me explain the springtime handprint for planting a seed, and it's an art project. Anytime you need to, pause this video and go back. This requires parent help, so parents get ready. Here we go. All right, so first things first, you will have gotten from me a container of peach colored paint, and you will have gotten a fat paintbrush. Have your child pick whichever hand, it doesn't matter. They need to put their fingers together for this project. Be generous with the paint and paint all over their hand. And yes, it tickles, right, Gianna? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lots of paint, solid coverage. Some parents have helped me do this already, so you'll know what to do. Here we go, all the way up the fingers and the thumb and all the way down to the palm, the bottom of the palm. Fingertips, get the center of the palm really good. Okay. There we go, Gianna, show your palm to the screen. Good, now she's keeping her fingers close together. Even the thumb goes in, touch the thumb. See how all our fingers are together? Okay, now I'm gonna guide the hand onto the paper. I have a white square, and I want the hand to kind of be at an angle from one of the top corners. So I'm gonna guide Gianna's hand so that it's at an angle, and I'm not gonna press until I'm ready. And then I set the hand down in this upper corner, and when I push, I push all over the palm, the fingertips. She's keeping all her fingers together. Push, push, push. Lift. She's going to go wash her hand, but I'm going to show you what happened. So here it is. I'm going to take a paintbrush and add a little bit of peach right here. So that's like the arm coming from the sky. That's what I'll do while she washes her hand. Okay, and I just added a little bit to the corner and there's her hand. Now for you guys, you wanna let this dry for a little bit, it'll be easier, but we're just gonna move on. Our next piece, you all received a little piece of brown paper. So each of us is gonna take our brown paper next, once the handprint has dried, and you'll hold it the tall way. Now we're gonna do what's called tear art, and tear art is never precise or perfect, so be patient with yourself, it's not supposed to be. This will become the dirt. So I'm gonna start at the top, and I keep my thumbs really close to the edge. And then I start doing little tears all the way down, kind of through the middle, but it's the dirt pile. So I can go up a little bit and down a little bit, up and down, and keep, keep my thumbs right near where it's supposed to be where I'm tearing. So my thumbs are never far away, up and down, and up and down, and all the way to the bottom. And we ended up both with two pieces. So now, Gianna, you get to pick which piece do you like the best as your mound of dirt? One that you chose? It doesn't matter. I think matter. I'm going to choose this piece. So. Okay. So the other is just trash. It's extra. So Gianna's going to take that brown piece, and she's going to get some liquid glue and glue it. See how this is a flat edge here? So that goes at the bottom, and yours is measured out. So it should fit right on the bottom like that as your dirt. So go ahead, Gianna, go ahead and glue that on there. You'll also be needing a yellow and orange marker. So if you wanna get those ready, you can. Supplies from home, the liquid glue. Glue stick is okay, it just doesn't work quite as well or stay as long. So if you have liquid glue, that's better. If not, you can use a glue stick. Okay, so Gianna glued her dirt to the bottom. See how the hand comes down and the dirt's at the bottom. Now in this other corner, we're going to make a sun. You also got a yellow square of paper. 
this corner will go onto the white paper. So we're gonna start at this top corner and go diagonally down to the bottom corner with the same method. We're in this top corner, we're going diagonally down to the bottom and I just keep my thumbs really close. This time I wanna think about kind of a rounded sun so I can kind of make it a little bit curved, but I'm heading to that bottom corner. It doesn't have to be too curved. And there's my corner piece. I pick the one that's more rounded out. And if your parents need to help you boys and girls to get it more rounded, that's fine. Like for me, Gianna, I don't know how you feel, but I feel like, mm, I don't really like this extra piece, so I'm gonna tear it off mm -hmm. so it's more rounded like a sun. You can work with it a little bit and get it shaped more like a sun. Then, once Gianna's happy with her sun shape, She's gonna use the flat corner to glue it right in the corner like that. And then I'll tell you the next step. And parents, the yellow piece is big enough. Hold on. The yellow piece is big enough that if you need to help and start again, you can. Okay. I think I like yours. <laughs> She's gonna glue that in that other corner. Our next step uses the yellow and the orange marker. So once we get that sun glued into the corner, then we wanna add some sun swirl marks and sun rays coming out from the sun. So I'm gonna have Gianna do it and then I'll show you once she's done. So on the yellow paper, she's gonna add little swirl marks with her yellow and orange marker and then coming out from the sun, she'll add little sun rays coming out. You can just use yellow, just use orange, or a combination of both. Let's see what she did. And then some little rays there. And that's what her son turned out. See how she did a little fun swirl marks on the yellow and then some rays coming out of the sun. The last step is the, the seeds, except the seeds. I sent home a little baggie of these colorful springtime sprinkles. So you're gonna use these sprinkles as your pretend seeds. What you do is take your glue and do little, wherever you want the seed to go, you're gonna put a dot of glue. Put one dot of glue right in the middle of the palm of the hand, right in the middle spot of your painted hand. And then maybe a couple seeds falling from the sky. So put a couple of dots of glue just coming out from the hand. And then three or four across the dirt. And wherever you put little dots of glue, you'll take your colorful sprinkles and you can drop maybe two or three of the sprinkles into your little dots of glue and kind of gently push on it. And then it has to dry or else it will, it will fall off. So try not to play with it too much. Just kind of gently push them in there. See how she pushed the seeds into the glue. Then we added a couple on the white paper Some might fall off, that's okay, as long as a couple stick. And then she put one on the palm of her hand. Good, and push those in. Now let this dry. Overnight is best. Spring planting art handprint. Good luck. Bring it back to me.